PNG remains a great investment destination in the Asia-Pacific region and around the globe. We look at why the country is attractive to investors and the opportunities available to investors. Trade with the country is promising, given its strategic location to the Asia-Pacific markets. Prita Carlo reports. Today, Papua New Guinea is emerging as a nation experiencing years of uninterrupted economic growth over the past 10 years. It is predicted that the trend is likely to continue. In 2014, PNG achieved what others thought it would never do. It joined the exclusive club of LNG exporting countries. The 19 billion US dollar ExxonMobil led PNG LNG project which achieved financial completion in early 2015, is now bringing much needed revenue to the country. This has not only put PNG to the top 15 LNG producers worldwide, but significantly, it has put this fast-growing economy of just 7 million people firmly on the global map for business. PNG sits at the doorstep of the Asia-Pacific, and given its strategic location to the Asia-Pacific markets, Trade for PNG is promising. PNG has always remained a great investment destination in the Pacific over time, and it continues to be in spite of challenging times. It's 2016, after 40 years of independence. The country's economy now looks promising and believes to enter a new phase. Though 2015 is often talked of as a defining year for PNG, despite some strong hiccup from global economy. I know that Papua New Guinea's growth outlook remains very positive, but in fact, uh, uh, given the global challenges that we uh, today face, uh, we expect uh, it to be challenging year for us in 2016. But with those challenges, there lies a lot of opportunities. And I know many members of the Chamber, uh, Chinese Chamber of Commerce of Philippines who are here today, uh, Papua New Guinea remains one of the best destinations for investment. Despite it being only the first month of 2016, PNG has already had a delegation of 35 members from the Philippines Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The delegation visited Port Moresby from the 17th to the 22nd of January. This visit follows an invitation made by the Minister for Treasury, Patrick Pruage, to the Philippines Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry to come to PNG and see for themselves the different business opportunities that it offers. It gives me great pleasure to welcome, once again welcome the delegation who have received I saw notice in invitation but have been able to take this trip. I hope, that you, I hope that your visit today has been very useful and informative to guiding your thoughts on business opportunities in our country. According to PNG's ambassador to the Philippines, Christian Wiruri, the delegation comprised of well-established businessmen and women who have different interests in areas such as construction, hotel industry, shipping, tailoring and shopping malls, just to name a few. We can do all the explanation that we can. But the best thing for business people is for them to come to this country. They can feel, they can smell. And now probably come here. And these people, I brought 30, 35. But these 35 people represent uh, a, a lot of uh, business interests. For PNG, an early visit like this at this time of the year, where the country's national accounts are opening up for business, gives the country the confidence that the future is bright. During the week, the Philippines Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry witnessed a number of presentations made by various stakeholders both in public and private sectors. Stakeholders such as Bank of Papua New Guinea, Internal Revenue Commission, PNG Customs, Investment Promotion Authority, National Fisheries Authority and Westpac are representative from the private sector. The presentation was focused on the overall business environment in PNG in areas of tax incentives, registration, legislations, country's economic status, 
challenges and the upcoming business opportunities in PNG. Apart from that, the delegates had the opportunity to meet with the China PNG Friendship Association and the Chinese Chamber of Commerce who shared with them their experience of how to go about doing business in PNG. The delegations also had a dinner with the Prime Minister and other private and public sector members at the state function room and were given a warm welcome by the Kuti Andra dancers from Kari district of Manus province. PNG's strong economic outlook is attracting investments from both existing and new investors. As development advances with the height of economic boom, the government has been in the forefront strategically aligning its regulatory policy to accommodate these changes to boost investors' confidence. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill also announced while addressing the PCCC delegates that the government is now looking at creating a conducive environment for economic growth through foreign investment. He said there are currently a lot of impediments to investments in the country and the government is moving swiftly to introduce the visa upon arrival for all APEC members policy among others. We are now removing many of the uh, tra uh, travel restrictions uh, including uh, visa on arrival will be announcing very soon for uh, 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 most of our APEC member countries, which is Philippines, China, and all the other APEC member countries, we will uh, lift up the travel restrictions so you can get visa when you arrive at the airport. So uh, you don't need to apply for a visa. Unless you are going to be getting employment here or you do a business for a long term, you need uh, to go to the embassy and get a visa. But we are expanding, of course, on our uh, transportation. Prime Minister O'Neill also announced that the government is also looking at introducing two direct flights from Port Mosby to Beijing per week in a bid to bring in more tourists and business into the country. According to Secretary General and Translator for Philippines Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ko Beng Sam, their visit was a success and they are very delighted. Prishka Kahlo reporting there. If you want to comment or provide feedback on any of our stories, please visit our website at pngtonight.com. This has been PNG Tonight. We'll do it again at the same time tomorrow night. Good night.